description and everything, right? right. Hello, 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 and I'm Rose Lebanon. Today, we, this week, sorry, this week we are reading, we are talking about erotic fairy tales, The Little Mermaid. Chapters <sighs> 1 through 14, it's the entirety of it. I'm your co-host, Azrael. Down in whatever corner it's in, I don't know which way to point, is Klesk. He, um... He's down there. He's on the bottom. He's, he's bomb- Sailor Uranus this time. Sailor Jupiter? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, Sailor Jupiter. You said Sailor Uranus? Yeah, like, I know. <laughs> it's Sailor Jupiter. Isn't that, like, the cool character? <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, so, uh, he's that per Klesk is dead. He's just dead. Yeah, uh... He, he met uh, an unfortunate end. He was in the darkness. He was eaten by a group. Well, you see... He made a deal with Dio. <laughs> but, oh, we, 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 can, we can actually get to the manga before we start talking about Dio. Though. Yeah. So, erotic fairy tales. We're going to give you the recommendations right at the beginning. Don't fucking read this. Exactly. Unless you read Shoujo, I'm assuming. I don't know. I don't read Shoujo. Not even to let... Okay. I told you it wasn't as bad as you thought. Like, the worst thing ever. But this isn't good for Shoujo. This isn't even passable for Shoujo. It's bad. It's like a two or a three. <laughs> I don't it's read not the worst shoujo ever. Shoujo is a two for three from every shoujo is a two or three to me. For me. Missing out, man. Also, no, you're not missing out on too much. There's a few good shoujo series, but not much. Also, I'm a demon. Because I like... I'm a fucking demon. Shut the fuck up. I'm a fucking demon. Yep. All, all hail, Banada. Rise into the heavens to take down your gods. <laughs> okay. But I'm not saying anyway. I'm a demon gonna take down your gods. I don't even give a fuck. He'd be the god of like happy yeah. happy fun time world. Still Yeah, just don't read this manga. <laughs> it's uh It's really it's terrible. Not good. It's really bad. Like holy okay, crap. Okay, there's two re- two things you would want to read if you were gonna if you wanted to read this manga. You wanted to either read an analogue of the Little Mermaid story, which this isn't a good one of, so don't read it. <laughs> or you wanted some porn, which this isn't good porn. Or you wanted so something, don't jack off. Or you to wanted it. something like really crazy and really like whoa out of left field. But in a good way. With like actual intelligence. This isn't even that crazy and out of left field. It's just dumb. Yeah. It's like, come on. It's, just, it's not like, I've read so much more crazy shit in manga. See, that's what I was expecting. It's like, it's called erotic fairies. It's like, I mean, you know, it's Japan. Or any writing. Oh, no, I knew exactly what was coming when I saw this shit. People don't just, like, <laughs> write generic fairy. I mean, that's boring. Yeah, but this bitch made some money this off not even, This isn't even playing it straight. At least play it straight if you're going to be boring. They can't even play it straight. Right? It's just like, it's a weird. This is not how the story even goes. It's just retarded. Yeah, so let's let's give let me give you the description of it. Lot has always been fascinated by the surface world, which they don't which ever we saw nothing of. Yeah, they don't even show that. It's just like out of nowhere, just like show. No, up. I think actually one page they're like, "Oh, you like looking at the sun sometimes, right?" Yeah, like the sun. <laughs> they never like talk about people. She just goes up there and like, "Oh, there's a guy. Oh, now a demon shows up. Oh, now I'm the little. Yeah. Now I'm a human, and I need sex." It's like what? But. But mermaids are forbidden to ever have contact with humans. Which they also one never day, mention that ever. They do mention that they in do. the beginning. Okay. One day, yeah, they do. Okay. Uh, one day, she finds a handsome young man adrift in a shipwreck and takes him to the shore. More obsessed with the f- surface than ever, Lot jumps at the chance to become a human when a demon named Jay offers her magic potion. Also, they just don't. Not they don't a really, magic potion, just magic potion. Also, they don't really show that either. They never, she, she literally. It's like the next same page. She puts them ashore. Next thing you know, hey, do you want to be human? Okay. No, it's like two pages later. It's. But they don't explain it. It never feels like you know, freaking. Look, you, let me finish the description, and you can start bitching, okay? <laughs> but there's more to Jay's potion and his intentions that meets the eye. I think Jay just really likes ra- like whacking it to mermaids, and he is like, "Oh shit, I found my spat." <laughs> so you guys got five seconds if you don't want to be spoiled on this bullshit to get the fuck out. Dude, who, All right, no, get the I'm fuck not, out. I'm not gonna like care if you're spoiled. Dio is a shithead. He is the biggest okay. rapist shit. Here's ever. the thing: is every character is a shithead. Eh. Every, I mean, the mate's not a shithead. 
Maid's a nice girl. But she she's a, a nice about, person. She's still give a fuck about rape, though. Like, kind of weird. She has a very I, nonchalant... She, she has a very nonchalant, like, reaction to, like, rape and, like, sex and shit. Like, really, really nonchalant. I don't think she's ever seen any rape. Oh. That could work. Yeah, I don't think the maid has ever seen her, like, ra Dio raping her. Well, she's uh, gonna be, like, tied up. Wait. Oh, yeah. That was technically not rape. It was sexual <laughs> assault, but not rape. You know, in my mind, like, sexual, assault has down, always, man. sexual assault has always been, like, basically rape. It's basically rape. It's, it's, it's almost rape. <laughs> You're still just if you're doing sexual assault, you're but you're pretty much you are a rapist. You you have those you have that you have the heart of a rapist. Oh yeah, well pretty much sexual assault was like you got stopped before the rape happened. <laughs> yeah, because you were going to rape a bitch. So I guess we should probably explain w what the fuck we're talking about. I thought you were about to explain what rape was. I'm like, I, I really hope we don't have to do <laughs> we that. We should probably today. go down to the basic <laughs> rudimentary levels of what rape is. I'm going to bring out my book. Hey, you just know pull out weird? a fucking law school book. I was like reading CNN today. Not that I recommend you read CNN and only CNN because that's bad. You're going to become like a retard. But uh, Angelina Jolie was like saying like rape doesn't have to be a part of war. And we should like fight to make rape not part of war. It's like... It's like saying murder should be part of war. I think it's gonna rape. Now I think it's a good thing, I, but it's gonna happen. Yeah, I mean, rape shouldn't be a part of war, but it's probably gonna happen. Yeah, and it's, I mean, I mean, she's I'll also be... championing a cause that no one's going to argue <laughs> against. Basically, it's like if it's like if somebody came up and was just like you know championing the we should get rid of cancer. But yeah, it's like, just like the and same. There's no one that's gonna be like. <laughs> But no, cancer's great. But well, see, the thing for me is like it's like the same thing as saying like we should get rid of murder in war. Like that, I kind of like I would prefer that. I'm like, why can't we just get a war rid of war on uh, all together? I think getting rid of rape is much more practical than getting rid of the killing aspect of war. I think it's less <laughs> less likely though. It's about the same amount of likeliness in my head. Mmm, no. <laughs> yeah. Just no. It's like saying we should get rid of torture. I mean, we should. But it's not gonna happen. Cause people are terrible. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you just need to torture a bitch. <laughs> Didn't you ever see that movie with that one black actor where he had to torture a guy to get a bomb to not go off? Yeah, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, like, I'm not. I'm not sure that actually works like under any circumstances, but whatever. No, it really doesn't work out too torture well. Torture never works. Like, torture, especially like remember the. Uh, didn't Which, it come down to him, like, having to almost kill the guy's kid or something? Yeah, like... Because nothing worked. <laughs> CAA definitely knows how shit doesn't work. CAA sucks. They should just make people read, like, all of the erotic fairy tales <laughs> series they over and would, over like, again. They probably would want to kill themselves. Hey... <laughs> They make sure to give them a like a swipe screen that they can't break to get a glass shard into their neck. <gasps> just like scream, like it's just like a, they just like hold their eyes open, like read it, damn it, oh, your whole fucking family, read it. You have to read like ninety chapters a day, or else you don't get a meal. Or they like <laughs> electrocute your balls. There we go. That's that. That's the only reason that you guys would ever want to read. Erotic fairy tales, The Little Mermaid, yeah, is if somebody gonna... was gonna shock your nuts if you didn't. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess we can start explaining what this is, though. So, Erotic Fairy Tales, The Little Mermaid, is supposed to be like an analog of The Little Mermaid, but it's not really. It is more. They took mermaids and they took the aspect of you lose your voice, and then they were like. But what instead of like her just losing her voice, she had to get fucked daily. Or she would stay die. alive. Also, if she gets yeah. fucked enough, she can talk. Yeah, when whenever she gets fucked, she can talk. And apparently, if you fuck her real good the night before, she can talk for like a day. <laughs> yeah, don't you remember that? There's a part yeah. where it's like, yeah, we were just fucking so long last night. I guess I can just talk now. Yeah, I, well, I remember that part. I'm not, I'm thinking of that part of the original storyline. Remember that part of the Disney movie? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, that, well, the like, part the, where... Uh, that 20-minute long gangbang. 
The part where Ursula gangbangs Ariel with her tentacles. I, I remember that part. It was a masterpiece. The music behind it was mwah. Sebastian came in. It was great. But no, so yeah. So Little Mermaid. Well, not Little Mermaid. Lot is her name. Not Ariel, but it's Lot. And uh, she meets with Lord Abel. Saves his life. For some reason, decides she's in love with him. They never and, have to really explain that. It just happens. Yeah, it was love at first sight. They don't don't like, you know? They don't, like, don't you know that's a thing? The they, not they, they don't even really show that. It's just literally like, oh, I'm in love. Like, oh, when did that happen? Like, oh, like 20 pages ago? That's the, that's interesting. I, I think they said love at first sight on the first time she saw him. Oh, but it was, it was just so bad. You can't just fall back on it was so bad when you're wrong. <laughs> no, I don't think I'm wrong, though. See, oh, my God. Am I going to read, read erotic parts of erotic fairy tale? What my, what the fuck my is life? shaking in my knife? What is shaking that in word my knife? Me. Yeah, my pocket knife is like there's a piece of it I think is loose and it's shaking. And it's kind of worrying me. Because yeah, what know, if my blade just like fell, falls out at one point while I'm trying to do shit? <laughs> just like reading a manga. Oh my god, there is a knife in my dick. I mean, distinct possibility. My pocket knife stays in my pocket. So. Yeah. And I wear shorts, so there's no, like, confinement. That could get to my dick very easily. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure... But that, anyway... Actually, I'm pretty sure they, like, could, could cut my ball sack if I had, like, a pocket knife and it went out. Yeah. But, yeah, so... After that, after they meet and they decide they're in love, Jay the Demon, because she couldn't figure out to, how to do an actual name besides Jay. Yeah. Uh, she He comes out and he's like, Hey, I'll give you this potion... But there's side effects. I'm not going to tell you what they are, though. Okay, I'm reading it. This is stupid. She literally says, hmm, he kind of looks beautiful. They're the first human person I've ever seen in my life. Okay, that's interesting. <clears throat> then the demon just shows up. That's all nice. she says. She never actually says, like, it's just like, hmm, huh, he's kind of handsome. That's all she says. That's all she says. She says he's kind of handsome. She's never like, hmm, I'm in love. She just says, he ain't bad looking. Then, like, the demon, like, hey, I'm a demon. What's up, guys? I'm Jay. Yeah. <laughs> like, who are you? <laughs> yeah, so Jay comes up, and he's like, hey, I can make it so you can live on the real world, but your legs are going to hurt, and you won't be able to talk. And there's another side effect, but I'm just not going to tell you what it is. Yeah. And Lotch is like, you know what? This seemed like a good idea. I'm on do it. And then she finds out that she has to be a cum dumpster to live. Yeah. The end. Like it's so stupid. It's like, so she has to receive ener receive energy from. I'm not sure why semen is that. Like that's. Is it like is she like? A, well, I mean, it's the whole succubus kind of thing. Is she like literally like sucking their soul? <laughs> like, is this going to go? Well, that's like, what succubus. That's what succubi do. I know they that's not she, soul out. I know, but she's not doing it yet. I want. I want to see her like fatality, nigga. <laughs> Fatality. Would it, would it and just x-rays onto her <laughs> vagina, just sucking out so much sperm, it starts to suck out, like, blood oh. and, like, just random fluids. And organs. Just, like, his organs come out of his dick. <laughs> oh, liver, like, just gets liquefied and just <laughs> through his dick. That'd be, like, the best thing ever. Fatality. Lot wins. I'm also, just uh, so in love. Wait, she never even says that. She never actually says in love until, like, chapter 10. Uh probably like yeah yeah and then um or no but um i think it's a lot earlier than that also where like she's that. like freaking out because like the dude's a douche to her the ma the dude she no, falls she in love care. with she doesn't even care is a mess she like doesn't even care she's like oh okay i'm cool with that like oh, yeah i'm just his concubine it's fine whatever also i like i like how all like how chill abel is about everything like huh Okay, because, like, hey, you have to, like, have sex with her or else you'll die. Like, the demon just shows up to the guy and, like, huh. Well, he isn't very chill with it in the beginning. He's like, what the fuck? But he, like, no, but he and accepts then eventually it he's really, like, okay. He accepts it really oh, yeah. quickly. Like, I mean, wait. I think that I would accept it just as quickly, though. No, I'm probably, like, I'm a demon. I'm, like, probably going to shoot you or stab you. 
because you're a fucking a, you're a fucking demon and you're in my house. Okay, good shoot a demon. The fuck are you gonna do shooting a also, demon? Also, I kind of have like morals. <laughs> shoot, and you're gonna destroy part of your house, and it's gonna be like, well, <laughs> I don't think demons are like, like explosive. Is that is that a do thing? Demons are made out of TNT. No, like. You shoot, and a de- it's not going to fucking even hit a demon. It's just like an ethereal being. Well, see, first it's going to go through it and just p- fucking slam into a wall. So you punch it first, and then like somehow you aim at the same time. That you're you're just you're just not making a good argument here. Okay, here's the thing. I have morals. The end. You have you you have very very strict morals. I have very strange morals. <laughs> Yeah, they don't, they don't see, I would not be. I would not be against. Like, eventually, I'd just be like, whatever. Just will the demon get the fuck out of my house? Yeah. Okay. Whatever. That's fine. I would then. have. A, I would be a lot less like. Okay, let's just go. Then like. Oh, I'm not saying I'd be as quick as he was. That was okay. really quick. That was like a few minutes. You'd like... have to get some. You'd have to get some explanation past yeah. that point with me. Like, but eventually, I'd just be like, "Okay, let's even fuck. like like me, you can at least like ask her." She was like, "Cool with that." Like, come on, man, that was like full on. That was like full on rape. I don't remember if he asked her or he not. Doesn't. I'm reading. He doesn't. Nice. It's like that's like really just like pure. Rape. And then he's just like, "You're just gonna be my concubine." Fuck it, let's fuck. It's like, really... and then apparently he fell in love with her at some point. And it was like, it's just, it's just so like. Ugh. Just creepy. It's just really. It is pretty creepy. Like, the, you know, the maid comes in, and I don't know if the maid like does the maid know that she's like a mermaid. No. She just thinks okay. she's stupid. She well, think, yeah. I mean, she she's... is. That's not like an untrue statement. Yeah. <laughs> I I love how they had to teach her like etiquette on how to talk to people and shit. Like, they were speaking the same language to other mermaids. Why yeah. would it be okay to just be, a, like, uh, really rude to people? Like, I don't really just understand because... this series or these people or any of this shit. So, yeah, a so lot is kind of a dumb bitch. She gets taught pretty much how to do everything, except I guess she's good at belly dancing or something like that. Because that one time she went out to town by herself, she was belly dancing and was about to get raped. Because that happens. Like, that just instantaneously Oh, no, it, it happens. happened because, um... Remember the, how you can tell if, if she needs, like, oh, a yeah, refill? Yeah. She becomes like a Is whore. that she gets uncontrollably horny. Like, I mean, admittedly, that was, like, the one thing that wasn't, like, completely retarded. No, at least that makes kind of sense, like... When you when you're about to die from starving, you're uncontrollably hungry. Yeah. So like, I guess if the only way you get your energy is fucking. Yeah, it's like that. I was okay with that, but you know. But yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's the one thing that's not completely retarded in this series. And the the, the oh, fucking characters are like, a thing, like, man. Every character is either like the worst person ever or like the maid. Really oblivious. It. Or the yeah, the maid's maid. a nice person. She's the maid of, is just a genuinely nice person. Remember the one time she like saw her chained up and was like, "I'm not like too like shocked by this. I'm not gonna ask any questions. It's like whatevs. I'm out. Need some help? Yes. No. Oh wait, you can't talk. Guess I'll just. Oh, also, there's another character. This uh, did we talk about Dio? Um, we talked a little bit about Dio. Oh, yeah. Dio's Abel's a has a brother, Dio, that he's just, like, full on. It's not spelled the same way as the good Dio. And he's also but... just, like, a complete asshole, and he, like, just likes fucking with his brother, which means, like, fucking his girl. And, but then, like, he turns into, like, a symp- like a character that you're supposed to sympathize with eventually. And then he makes a deal like, with a demon, and I guess now he's gonna become like a demon dude or some shit. They never really explained it. It's just like the demon, like, "Hey, demon!" Like, "Hey, I'm a demon." Want to make a deal? It's like, "Oh, well, okay." No, the the only deal, like, he didn't even make a deal. I think oh, yeah. it was just like, no, he, the the demon was just pretty much came up and he was like, "Hey, I'm ha- I'm enjoying watching people have a bad time. 
and they're not having a bad time. So you want me to make it so she, so uh, he can't come back for like a week and Lot will have to fuck you or she dies? And when he says that'd be pretty baller. He means like full on rape. Yeah. He, Dio comes into the room wearing a, the wig that makes him look like his brother and then takes it off like after he's inside her. Also, I would like to mention the only reason that would work because this is <laughs> the most generic art style of all time. Only reason that works. They're supposed to be twins, aren't they? Twins don't have different hair colors. Sometimes they do. Not like not like not like identical. You're if you're an identical twin, your, your DNA is the exact same. Your hair is part of your DNA. Well, yeah, but even Unless fraternal you, twins like will still have decently like okay bone like I okay tell, similar bone structure sometimes. Except you can tell like it's just you can tell they're different from their faces. Their faces aren't the exact same. Their features aren't. Well, she was also same. supposed to be near death, blacking out at that point. So, <laughs> how about this? Next time you're blacking out, tell me if you can tell the difference between like two people with similar similar features. Hey man, when I got like that concussion, I could tell different between the people, and everybody was black. And everybody was black. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here. Every black person looks the same. Like, a lot of black people do kind of look the same after some point. They do. All old black people look the oh, same. Oh, yes. Heard your first one. I feel like if you get past, like, 65 in black, Guys, like, the ones that don't look the same get executed just to keep the order. <laughs> but, yeah, this is, this manga is, it's pretty bad. It's, like I said, it's not the worst thing I've ever read. It's the worst thing I've read all of. I can say that. It's the worst thing that I've read every chapter of. And I did it for the podcast. And yeah. I shouldn't have. <laughs> it wasn't worth it. It. The art's really generic. I feel like we say that every episode. But, like, I don't know. Is that our fault? Or is it the fault for all the art looking exactly the same? <laughs> There's like three art styles that just get permeated pretty much. Actually, you know what I think about a white people like, like generic also. Manga. A lot of white people look exactly alike as well. Is that that's what you were stuck on? Oh yeah, about? I think actually, you know what? Now I think about it, a lot of people in general look alike. This is this is where we're still at. <laughs> oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, the art style is pretty generic. <laughs> what is this? Oh. There's a new volume of Watamode. Huh. A new volume. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's what this is, unless I didn't see the picture right. What? Let's just you know what, let's talk about Watamode. <laughs> yeah. Fuck erotic fairy tales. What am I looking at on the television? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Um, but um so but yeah, there is a new volume of Watamode out, so if you needed to cleanse your palate, you can read that. <laughs> if you actually read this with us, then congrats. You are a... Yeah, it's... You, you're a trooper, man. Maybe it, I just uh, say thank this... you. Thank yeah. you, one person. Yeah. One person who's read this. There, You know what? There are multiple people who really enjoy this for some reason, too. It's all, like... 15 year old girls which I don't know if I if I'm okay with that or not I'm on not, one hand I'm not okay with there's a new generation of rapists. if they keep on reading this shit easily submiss submissive girls also, to just troll up on in bars also, but like on the other hand there's like a bunch of rapist dudes who are like rape yeah yeah uh, but yeah, so Dio, I I tried to envision him as Dio Brande. You couldn't do it. He's too much of a pussy. He start he cries too much. He is kind of a bitch. He cry. So there's there's another character we forgot to mention that um, crazy do you bitch her lady. name crazy bitch lady. That's her crazy name. bitch lady. She's a countess, so they can't like tell her to stop doing crazy bitch lady things. She, she like trying to rape niggas. Yeah. So like, that actually does is, happen. Like, she's, like, 
probably the closest she's, one to like actual like real full on rape. Like not even like ha ha ha. I think Geo is. Well, yes, but he like hey, I'm doing this to save your life a little bit. So it's still terrible, but this lady just yeah, like just she's like, the only one that's on. malicious. Yeah, like just full. I mean, he's also malicious, pretty malicious with it. At least according eh. to his brother. Yeah, but I think his brother's kind of fucking retarded too. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's. Did we talk about his reason that he was acting like an asshole? Um, I can't remember it actually. Okay, here's the reason. Now, guys, if this ever crawls across your head, a you're a five year old, and b you are never finding anybody who loves you. So, um, he acts like an asshole to her because. So when I say asshole, I mean like full on rape. Full on, you're worthless. You have no meaning to your life. Full on emotional abuse. Has Didn't gone... he like throw a punch at her in the carriage because yes, she was he like, did. "I wanted just to, I just wanted to make you happy," and she was like, "Bitch." Yeah. Okay. So Straight. yeah, full on physical, <laughs> emotional and physical abuse, like really, like really harsh. So his reasoning because he wants her to find true love one day. Oh, yeah, it was like, oh, but I don't want you to be with me just because you want to fuck me kind of thing. And so I just want you to be able to find your true love you out there. just say it. He could just be like, you know, I, I don't, like, particularly love you. There's somebody else I care about. I like you as a human being, but, or uh, whatever the fuck you are. I like you as a person. You're a nice girl, but, you know, I'm pretty much just doing this to you so you don't die. Just, you no, know, just say that. He doesn't even, just, he, what did he ever think? Hmm, maybe I could just say that. Well, no, his reasoning was he wanted her to find love, wasn't it? Yes, but he could have been, him. No, but he could have been like, no, love saying he could have said that to her so she wouldn't fall in love with him. Uh, like, yeah. Like, he doesn't, even, he doesn't even try that route. He doesn't even, <laughs> he doesn't even, nah, make, he, just, he just goes. You should just go with the, you should just go with throwing straights at, also, he, like, like that's people the, who, it, it meet, like, doesn't, doesn't he not know she's even a mermaid at that point? No. He, he thinks she's just like. A random Very girl. physically frail, and for some reason will die from the demon's curse. Yeah. If and he's just like gonna be like a complete like this is the first time they ever talk. As soon as it, it's like, come on, man. Do you have yeah. any? Like he. <laughs> Why is that the? First... And then as soon as like after that, like after that little confession happens, he's just like, oh, I love you. And she's just like, she's okay. She's like, oh shit, awesome. He just threw a hook at. You. Like, maybe you should rethink this. <laughs> you know what? Maybe you should go with Dio. Dio hasn't thrown punches yeah, yet. Yeah, you know what? Honestly, Dio has been a better human, had been a nicer person to her by far. Yeah. And he's the villain. He's in, like, a rapist. Yeah, he's supposed to be, like, the big bad villain of this. And you're like, ah. well, no. The big bad villain is Mitch Bitch Lady. Yeah, she's, she she's is, like, really she crazy. She's, like, literally is fucking insane. Dio. And she wants so, to Okay, fuck so Abel. she's fucking Dio. To get to Abel Ab for which, some reason. I'm not sure. To like, because she thinks that apparently if she fucks Dio long enough that she can stay there, eventually Abel will fall in love with her or something like that. Like, I gotta admit, if I had a brother, and, which I don't, you know, I'm pretty sure I'm like, hey, if I see your girl enough time, I'm just gonna fall in love with her. Like, because I'm not like an asshole. But yeah. So she wants the money that, and, like, power that comes behind the crown. And the D. So she fucks Dio. And eventually, at one point, she hears that Abel is fucking the new girl. So she goes and, like, strips her naked, takes her to a barn, and ties her up in there. And then just leaves. Like, there was no follow-up to this. She just got up and left. Like, so, you know, that happens. Then you don't see her again for a while until she tells Dio, like, I'm moving the fuck out because I'm trying to bang your brother. <laughs> and then you don't see her again until this last chapter where she tells Abel that she thinks that um, Lot tied herself up in the barn and is, like, trying to hurt him. Like, is there specific, like, she's afraid of her. And she's afraid that she's going to try to hurt them or something. That's all this character is. Literally, there hasn't been any character development with her. It's just she shows up to be a cunt and then leaves. Yeah, it's... And it, it's... 
It's like how a 12 year old writes villains. Or anything, or any characters. Nothing. Yeah, well, I mean, specifically villains, like nothing but villainous deeds. And like when you write a hero, they do nothing but heroic things. Like. He doesn't even do that. He doesn't do anything good. Not one part. Who? Any of the good guys. That's how 12 year olds write. They don't even, yeah, but. He doesn't that's, even do heroic things. That's what I was things. just explaining to but you. He doesn't even do that. He's just like. Somebody who doesn't yeah. know how humans work. Like this might be like our yeah. alien, like some sort of fucking alien that beamed down from space to a Japanese woman's body and decided to write stories. Maybe I was gonna say because I've seen I have seen her, the picture of her. She's not bad. She doesn't look like an alien. She, the, the, that bitch is insane though. Like there's other stories. I would I don't, like to I don't believe. Wanna, I don't want to know. She's those... never gotten dick. Because anyone who's ever gotten involved with that. Has had just an awful time. Has had just awfulness befall like their entire life. <laughs> They've just been in some really fucked up, some really, really fucked up relationships, and now have no idea what true love is. And that's really just depressing. <laughs> like some real, every time uh, he, he sees a woman, he freaks out. He's like, "You can't have my energy." <laughs> Pimp slap. Oh god. Uh but yeah, it's it is this okay, so just so you can avoid reading or anything this woman's ever wrote. Takano Yumi. It writes all of the erotic fairy tales. There's like Bluebeard, Red Riding Hood, Little Mermaid, and something else. So this is also, I think, self published. On like a ebook website, so that's what's going on with that. Yeah. And somebody's translating it. For who knows fucking why? Seriously, just like actually good translation is really disturbing. Oh yeah, the one thing I can say about those manga: impeccable translations. The sentence structure is perfect. Like I've only seen a few words that like felt out of place. Other than that, it's been really good. And it's like, why can't I get these kind of translators for Hajime no Ippo? Or like, fucking uh, History's Strongest Disciple Kenichi. The, the translations in those are not very good. It's every, like, every other panel there's something where you're like, that's just not syntax. Yeah. That's not even like syntax wrong. That's just not syntax. <laughs> this isn't even. This is even English. This isn't even a sentence. Like, all you did was write down five like adverbs. Like, what is this? <laughs> but yeah. So the translations are good. The art is generic. It's serviceable. Okay for what it is. It's I guess it's serviceable. Yeah, it works has no inspiration really has no like there's no heart behind this shit at all this was somebody wanted to draw porn without drawing porn because every like halfway through every chapter she's getting fucked without fail she's getting banged it's like also the sexies are like really disturbing maybe because it might be because I don't like Doshina period or really and I so that might be it it's not really that disturbing. It was just sex scenes. It's like really weird. Everything that people said is really weird. Just... I hate everything. I can't remember anything they said, so... I remember I didn't like it. You know what, what the... One of the biggest problems is? Everything. The, since it wasn't porn, they weren't allowed to, like, draw a dick. But they had panels where Dick was obviously what was supposed to be there, and it was just white, and then a weird, like, circle. And you're like, this is just awkward. You just drew, like, six panels of nothing. And it's, like, stylized nothing. You took time out of your schedule to draw this. Because life. Because life. And you know what? This woman should be, she should stop writing manga. She should just become someone's assistant or something. Or, like, just fucking d draw for somebody. Because the drawing is fucking clean. This is really clean. 
it's generic, but when you're not the one coming up with the art style and you're just drawing it, she'd be fucking perfect for this. The shading's done well. You can tell the inking was done well. The contrast where the shadow's supposed to be is good. All of that's good. It's just she can't can like choose a good art style and make it she can't story. write to save her life. Yeah. All the the one thing that pisses me off about the art style is the huge anime eyes. I hate that shit. Her eyes are like this big. It's ridiculous. Cuz I don't really care too much. Like Okay, now hold on. Look at this shit. It's so bad. Like, like uh bottom. the fourth panel. Her eyes are so big. It goes down to like the middle of her cheekbones. Eh. I've seen worse. Oh, I've seen worse. I've seen it where it's like fucking this big before. But like it still is like still it's bad. <laughs> it's kind of like creepy because like almost has like a photorealistic eye. <laughs> like the it does. <laughs> it's almost like it's like painted on like googly eyes. <laughs> Before someone scanned it, apparent like all the eyes were just really bad, like slits. So they took googly eyes and put them onto it, and then scanned it. It's like Photoshop. Not even Photoshop. They glued googly eyes to the pages, <laughs> and just went for it. Oh man, is there anything else to talk about this? Uh, um, we've talked about the shitty characters. We talked about, we the, talked shitty about the shitty story. The demon. I'm not sure what, uh, the, what is the like demons. Uh, we what's the demons in gold? The demon. So far, what you what you can understand his like motivation is is like being an asshole. He want he wants to watch. I, I would say the world burn, but he's on way too small of, small of a scale. He wants to watch someone be raped. <laughs> Which I mean, there's probably easier ways to do it. Than this. Yeah. So he's like, but he's like doing so much work for it. He conjures a storm that keeps a ship gone for 10 days, but he's using his powers to facilitate rape. Like what? <laughs> it's, I don't know. Oh, we didn't talk about why we think Abel's retarded. So they started off. It's they, uh, the way, the way this story in the manga goes is eventually uh, a lot and uh, Abel end up like falling in love and bullshit and then eventually Dio rapes a bitch he like halfway finds out that she fucked uh, Dio and he instantly like flips a switch not he wasn't like oh I was gone for three weeks you would die. she probably should have died if she wasn't fucking somebody he instantly just goes into like, oh my god, I she the had betrayal. sex with someone else. The betrayal. I've been such betrayed, much betray, such sad. And he just like goes berserk, freaks out, and then gets over it, I guess. <laughs> and then he sees he walks on them fucking again because he's a, she's about to die again because yeah. he was gone again. You know, he really should like thought this shit through. Like I don't know, make maybe like jerked off in a cup or some shit. Yeah, I mean, would that even work? They never said it wouldn't work. I mean, they could have tried it, like, one day. Like, have her, like, like jerk uh, yeah. off in a cup, and they're like, if she didn't work, then they could have sex. I probably would. You know, I'd probably go into, like, I would have gone for some research to be done if this I was in this yeah, situation. Yeah, he was, like, he, for someone who's, like, you know, the leader of a fucking country, he didn't, like, really try that hard to understand what was happening. Yeah, like, I, you know, at the very least, I would have gone for the whole sperm donation thing. Yeah, and you know what? I probably also would not be angry in the slightest, in the slightest, for you banging someone to live. Like, who cares? It's it's ridiculous. This manga is bad. It's ridiculous and bad. Yes, it is. I hope this. I hope this video just doesn't get any views because no one needs to know what this is. Like. This should just be the lost episode that we never release. <laughs> Comes out on, like, the DVD set ten years later. Kind of shit. So, yeah. Hey, what else What else can we talk about? Nothing else. Uh, nothing else to be talked about. Uh, you want a one to ten it? 
One to ten, it gets a two. It doesn't give me. I'll it didn't give, it give it me a, herpes. It didn't give me herpes. I'd give that it, I know of. Uh, at its worst, I'd give it a two. At its best, I'd give it a three. Um, it's not good. It's not the worst thing I've read, but it's not good. Uh, I guess if you can get by on just art value on, alone, you could give it a four, because the art's generic, but it's clean. But for just, like, the entirety of the manga, two is fitting. So, yeah. Two out of ten. Yeah, I and... Uh, two out of ten, definitely read. Definitely everybody should yeah, read Yeah, two out of ten, best manga I've ever read. <sighs> two out of ten, better than Yu Yu Hakusho. <laughs> Nigga, this shit's better than... Let's, what else is on here? Uh, oh, well, we gotta talk about what we're gonna read next week. Let's just get to that. Uh, oh, yeah, so next week we are reading the Vindland Saga. That's right, chapter to chapter... To... Um, well, I, I wanted to kind of like retalk because like 16 chapters is really short, <laughs> but well, yeah. we okay up to chapter 16. If we don't revise, possibly further. All right. If we do revise, I have to find like a good ending spot that's not too far from it. <laughs> so yeah, well, so that that week I'm just gonna give you the full schedule of what we're doing. The week after that we're doing Samurai Deeper. Yay. Then we're gonna do Sidonia no Kishi. Yay. And then Tokyo Ghoul, and then Akame got kill. We're doing Tokyo Ghoul the same day as the anime is coming out. Because so uh, check that out. Because we want the nice views. Yeah, we're that's because we're just the best at planning. Yeah, this wasn't like by coincidence, and I saw it, and I was like, ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it did. It did just happen to land on Thursday. Totally, guys. Trust me. You can trust me. <laughs> So I am the most trustworthy of the NCP I will see. Crew. I'm real to banana. I will see you guys next time. Peace. <laughs>